All right, how you doing? Good to see you. We are going to look at Matthew 22, 34 through 46. So, a amazingly iconic section of scripture, and then uh, we kind of continue on. So, let's uh, read the first part. Hearing that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, the Pharisees got together. So, remember, they're kind of tag teaming back and forth, attacking Jesus. But this question doesn't seem to be much of an attack. One of them, an expert in the law, tested him with this question. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. Now, I'm a bottom line kind of person. I really like these types of statements. So here Jesus is talking about the most important thing, love God with all you got. The second most important thing, love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on that. Uh, maybe you've heard of the 80-20 the principle, and that is you know, 80% of the work is done by 20% of the people, or 80% of your effectiveness is taken care of by 20% of your effort. If we would do this part, love God and love your neighbor, as Christians, we'd be way more effective than, uh, you know, just arguing, being mad at people and, and all that sort of stuff. So we want to love God, love our neighbor. Bottom line stuff, get good at that. And then Jesus continues. While the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, What do you think about the Christ? Whose son is he? The son of David, they replied. He said to them, How is it then that David, speaking by the Spirit, calls him Lord? For he says, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. If then David calls him Lord, how can he be his son? No one could say a word in reply. And from that day on, no one dared to ask him any more questions. So they've done all these uh, verbal attacks trying to trap Jesus. And this time Jesus kind of turns it on them, asks them a question. They don't go off script. They just straight up answer the question. Uh, is the son of David. And then Jesus here is explaining that, that his authority is from God, that he is from God. Jesus is, is claiming his divinity basically in this section here, uh, rather than just being a normal person that's in the lineage of David. The Christ is, is of God. This is God the Son, Jesus, the Alpha and the Omega, the Messiah. He's God the Son. And he's revealing that here, which is very, very powerful. And he's showing it in the Old Testament scriptures. You know, that's a, a quotation from Psalm 110. So Jesus is going into the scriptures that they hold dear, that we hold dear, and showing that the Messiah, the son of David, is really not just human, but is Lord over all, Alpha and Omega. So really interesting stuff. And we can trust that Jesus isn't going to get fooled by any uh, question that anybody asks him. He's going to give great answers. And he uh, begins calling out the Pharisees at this point, And he continues. Uh, we'll talk about that tomorrow at tomorrow's devotion. It really starts to get ramped up. But let's pray. Heavenly Father, help us to love you completely with all of what we have all of who we are. Lord, help us to see ourselves through the love that you have for us. And Lord, help us to love others, to see them through the eyes of love so that we can help, so that we can be a blessing, so that we can encourage and lift people up. Lord, we know that you are uh, the Alpha and the Omega. Lord Jesus, we worship and we honor you. So help us to walk in your ways. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.